back sharing some casual summer outfit inspiration, especially if you are a pear shaped shorty. Welcome back. It is your girl Jordan of Little Miss JB Style, your pear shaped shorty style guru. I am back sharing what I have recently been wearing for the summer to beat the heat, to look cool, whether I'm running errands, going shopping, hanging out with my mom while she's in town, grabbing some drinks. So I wanted to give you plenty of outfit inspiration for the season that's gonna be super flattering, super breezy, and you're really just not gonna have to think about it, so this video is for you. Sorry, I needed to take a drink of my smoothie because I have been on the go today, and this is honestly this like, a quick easy way for me to make sure that I'm getting protein and getting my fruits for the day. It's literally just yogurt, frozen fruit, a little bit of water, but so delicious and it gets the job done. As always, if there are pieces that you are loving, I absolutely get it because I had to buy it. So there are links in the description just for you to shop if there is again a piece you are just really loving and got to have it. Before we get into it though, let's go ahead and look at what I'm wearing today because that is an outfit idea for you that is casual for the summer. So here is a quick look of my outfit of the day. I have this amazing organza chiffon sheer nasty gal top. I will actually be sharing this in the upcoming video. I'm going to be doing a collective haul. I recently got this. I am obsessed. And then these white linen shorts. These are old from H&M. I've had these for like at least three or four years, honestly. Like super chill. And as you're going to see in the video, I really have kind of been in my like resort wear bag like this for me is like casual resort wear and i feel like that's where a lot of my like casual summer outfit inspiration is going this summer i feel like i'm just ready to hit that rich auntie life my nephew turned one a month ago so like i'm ready to dress like it as for jewelry i have these amazing twisted earrings these are from bird Bee, which is a local boutique in detroit for the rings the rich bitch ring is also from bird Bee. this ring is from Biella Vintage. This ring is from ASOS. This ring is from Ayuri and this ring is from Lulu. So, so playing on the twist that you see going on in the earrings because that's how I like to do it. So let's go ahead and get into the rest of these outfits. First up, another outfit combination that is very similar to what I have on right now is this outfit. Instead of just wearing the button up tucked into a pair of white breezy linen shorts, which honestly is a summer staple in my opinion. It takes a while to find the right shorts, but when you do, oh, the vibes. There's nothing like a good pair of like high-waisted linen shorts for summer to me. So as you can see, I'm like loving this combination of like a bright top, some white pants, and of course some really easy breezy kind of like sandals. So the top from ASOS, the shorts are from H&M, the same shorts that I'm wearing today. And we have those white slides from ASOS and the Jacmo bag. So I actually wore this to a really cool experience. So 1906 is an edible cannabis brand and they have these fast acting edibles that are designed for a different kind of high. So it's not just like designed to like zen you out, make you chill. They have some that are like for focus, for love. So they had a really cool sound bath experience in Ann Arbor. So Sweet Tatas is her name. I'll make sure I link her below. It was a really cool experience. She came in. She was doing the drums and the rain stick, and she was just kind of guiding us through the sound experience. And it was really, really fun. And this was honestly like the perfect outfit. It was super chill, super casual. And then me and my bestie Mel went walking around the Ann Arbor campus after. So this is a really great, just kind of like breezy. Maybe you're gonna grab some lunch with a friend or you just wanna walk around somewhere and you don't wanna get too hot. I really, really recommend this. I will say for these H&M shorts, you probably want some like shapewear or biker shorts underneath, like some seamless stuff, because these shorts in specific do ride up just a little bit. So if you are somebody who chafes like your girl, I do recommend some shapewear. I am trying to figure out some shapewear for myself. I really haven't found any I love. I am looking at this pair from Spanx, but I also came across this pair from House of CB on TikTok. So I don't know if you've ever worn shapewear, drop me your favorites in the comments below. I am super curious because again, I've just never tried out shapewear, but I really do want a pair for the summer for shorts and for my more sheer outfits like my crochet dresses, which is another outfit I'm gonna share next to really keep me from chafing. So speaking of the crochet, this is my next super casual outfit. I wore this running errands because I love something breezy. And when it is hot, these crochet dresses, I totally understand why they are having a moment because they are super breathable. But if you pick the right one, they also don't show that you may or may not be wearing stuff underneath. 
but this one is from Zara. I absolutely love the colorway. I just wanted to experiment with some stripes. If you saw my video on new and Zara pieces, you know that I just picked this one up and I am obsessed. And of course, you know, I love a good color block, matchy, matchy moment. So I have the matching ego heels to keep the nice blue effect, right? Keep the legs nice and long. And you see we are snatched. So this is really, really great. If you don't want to wear heels every day, I totally get it. You could easily swap those out for some super cozy sandals, but a crochet dress, honestly, when it's hot out, has turned out to be one of my like favorite go-to outfits. It's just so easy, so breezy, and you just look impeccable. And again, it's something you're not gonna see a lot of people doing, which is kind of what I like in my outfits. I do like to have a little bit of uniqueness or just I'm not wearing exactly what everyone else is wearing. And a crochet dress, honestly, it's very, very perfect if you find the right sizing and you find the right fit. Another breezy outfit idea for the summer is a crop top and a linen skirt. And then of course you see I have these platform sandals. I'm really, really obsessed with them. If you saw my summer shoe video, you will see the full review on those altered state sandals. But this is again, what I love about this outfit, whether you're a neutral girly or you're a girly who likes color, this outfit combination of cute crop top, high waisted skirt, high waisted midi skirt, is gonna be really flattering and you can mix and match it to your style preferences. So if you wanna wear more color instead of doing neutrals like I have. So you have the Stradivarius bralette. I love a good bralette when it comes to summer. It's easy, it's breezy, and my trick, especially for my pear-shaped shorties, who might not have the biggest boobs, okay, no shame, no shame. I actually like to try and find sports bras that are a little bit more elevated enough that pass as a bralette. And the reason I like this is for two reasons. You get the support and you can get a little more, you know, boobage so you don't have to worry about extra padding and things like that. And they're also made to wick away sweat. So that way you do not have to worry about your top getting all kinds of like sweat stains and things like that because it is a workout top. It is designed to sweat. So while the Stradivarius one is not, that is something I definitely recommend looking for. Again, if you want something that's gonna be both functional but cute. The skirt is old, this is from H&M. They do have something similar, but a linen skirt, linen in general for summer, right? If you are thinking of beating the heat, linen is one of those amazingly breathable fabrics. And I love, love, love the ruching on this skirt. So flattering, so breathable. And of course, again, the platform sandals and the matching Jacquemo. Is it Jacquemo or Jacquemousse? I've heard it a couple of different ways. Honestly, I'm not entirely sure, but you see the bag. So I went with an all neutral look and this was again to run errands. I was doing a couple of returns, but I also wanted to pick up some stuff for my patio makeover, which if you have not seen, go ahead and check that out after this. I love my little oasis up there. So I was picking up not only some magnets to make sure that my curtains would stay up on my patio, but some cute decorative pillows as well. Before I get into the rest of the looks, I am super curious, what is your go-to summer outfit uniform? I won't say I have like a specific outfit combo most of my outfits you'll notice is a high rise bottom right like the top might vary it might be a crop top it might be a little more billowy top but i'm usually pairing it with a high rise bottom i just find that that is the most flattering for my pair shape i love the way it snatches and gives me some bam some booty so that is kind of my like go-to even when it's hot outside but i'm super curious what is your go-to summer outfit let me know in the comments below next outfit combination another breezy combination we are bringing in another neutral outfit we have the bralette this is from dynamite clothing i'm obsessed with this bralette it is the knockoff of the jack one but i like this one so much better it's ruched all the way around it's got stretch to it it's absolutely immaculate and i paired it with the pretty little thing bottoms from the matching set that everyone everyone loves so this is super breezy, super comfortable. I love this as whether I'm lounging around the house, you know, maybe I wanna look put together in case I wanna film a quick video, or if I need to just run some quick errands. I do just love the breeziness of this. This is great for going to get brunch with your girls. I would go shopping in this. I would even take this to the farmer's market. So comfortable, so easy to wear. And again, you can make it work for you. If you are somebody who likes to wear more color, do not feel like you have to do neutrals. Add print, add pattern, do what works for you because girl, it's about having your own style. I'm hoping to just inspire you. Speaking of the farmer's market, my mom was in town for my July shutdown from work. So we actually did get to go to the Eastern market, which I haven't been in a long time. And something super breezy, super easy, and got all the compliments, this matching set. Do not sleep on a matching set. I'm a matching set girly. I have a whole video, obviously. And it is honestly one of my more viral videos on TikTok is my matching set collection. But a good matching set is so easy because you can mix it, obviously, but match it as well. So I have this green one. It is from Pretty Little Thing. Paired it with those platform sandals you saw earlier in a simple bag that had the nice fun palm print. That is from Forever 21, super old. But 
again like this was super breathable it was perfect we not only walked around the eastern market we checked out bees lemonade which had some really great lattes and some alcoholic lattes as well as slushies if that is your cup of tea if you're ever in the eastern market area and also the eastern market because they are trying to attract more things they have this really cool alleyway where the bar is kind of set up and they have this fun patio furniture so me and my mom were able to kind of get our snacks i got some donuts from this amazing place i will link it below she is caribbean owned and oh her caribbean inspired donuts was the chef's kiss so we sat down outside and this was perfect because there was not a cloud in that sky when i say while i was sweating you could not tell i was sweating in this matching set so i love that i love that it's breathable i love that it didn't keep the sweat stains which some which some sheer and matching sets will so pay attention to that because it's not made of anything special but that is just something important if you know you're gonna sweat this is also perfect not just like going grocery shopping or to the farmer's market i would even wear this to say a museum or to go to the zoo something outdoorsy because again you have that coverage if you're worried about getting too much sun but it's so breezy that you're not dying of like heat exhaustion underneath it which is so important this next one is a way to just step up your matching set like your workout sets i have worn this before if you watch my brunch outfits you've seen it but i've been loving this outfit like the zara sheer top the matching set is from dynamite clothing unfortunately it is no longer available because i love 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 it i recommend it and just some casual sneakers and again throwing on some sunnies to really just be like Ugh, don't want to worry about having my eyes done my brows done none of that sunnies are a quick way to hide it but still make you look cool and of course the brandon blackwood obsessed so this is super casual, but this is a really great way to just do something a little bit different with your matching sets. A lot of people will just wear the matching set or you've seen it with the blazer, but I feel like a sheer top is a really great way to add that extra layer, give yourself a little bit of sun protection, but also do something different, right? Because you're gonna see just a regular button up. You're gonna see again, the blazer. So this just gives it, again, just something a little different, like the same, but different, right? So you have the same effect, but the sheerness is gonna be so fun. And if you wanted to add a color, like Zara has this gorgeous yellow one, Ugh, obsessed. So this is a really, really great way. Again, if you have the matching sets, you've been trying to figure out how to do something just a little different, consider something sheer as the outerwear because that really does, again, keep it breezy, which is super important but give you that classe elevated look that you are probably going for. Of course, you know I love a good monochrome look. Another really simple summer outfit. This is honestly a little more dressy, I would say, not for a crazy hot day, is this outfit. So in essence, it's a crop top and a high rise bottom, like I mentioned my go-to, but it's yellow. And so this is a really great way if you are trying to branch into colors and wearing one color to make it easy for yourself. You don't have to overcomplicate it. You don't have to do different shades of the same color pick one shade head to toe something like yellow it's so fun like i just felt like a little ball of sunshine me and my mom went downtown to grab just some brunch she wanted to go check out at a coffee shop in detroit uh called madcap we got our avocado toast from avalon bakery which i recommend if you're looking for a solid breakfast spot in detroit avalon bakery avalon bakery but this again is an easy way to try monochrome it's not overly complicated it's literally just a comfortable top and some comfortable pants so the top is from a local boutique called Bataya, and the pants are from zara and of course we have the altered state platform sandals which honestly i believe is my new summer staple sandal like you get the height so i don't have to worry about wearing heels but at the same time it does give you a little more a bit a little more elevated look than just like regular sandals so i would say an elevated platform sandal is another summer staple outside of like the white high-waisted shorts last thing i wanted to give you an elevated casual drink outfit this dress from zara it's old i'm sorry but i'm loving orange clearly and this dress i feel like always gets compliments and what it is about the dress is one it's the color the color is absolutely immaculate but this dress that cut out in the middle girlies if you have a bit of a tummy when i tell you this masks it like i am definitely bloated in this okay but you cannot tell because the way that that is cut out and it sits just right below like my rib cage because as you know I have the extended rib cage, that protruding rib cage uh, syndrome that I don't know the official word for, but you girls got a big rib cage. So this make this like vanishes that and it does make me look like I have like flat snatch tummy. And you notice the rest of the outfit like isn't crazy. I have the matching Brandon Blackwood bag, which if you saw my unboxing video, you knew that was coming. And just some breezy ASO sandals. They're super easy to throw on, really comfortable for walking because we were bar hopping. We started at the Z-Belt, which is an amazing place to grab drinks in the D if you're ever in the area. There's the skip. 
but really go to the standby like that is the spot and if you're lucky and the monarch club isn't being snooty i do recommend going up there to check out the rooftop but a simple dress with cutouts honestly can be your best friend the key is just to make sure you're paying attention to where the cutouts are and the fabric because the goal isn't to have the cutouts sausage you in like you notice in this dress it's not like cutting into my skin so make sure that you're buying the dress in the right size that the cutouts aren't digging and they help to accentuate your figure so that is it just a couple of outfits i've been wearing recently and where i wore them too to give you some elevated casual summer outfits for this weather whether you are going to the farmer's market hanging with your girls maybe trying a new experience going out to grab drinks or whatever the summer holds for you i really hope that you found this helpful because that's what i want to do is help you you are already working hard girl i know it. you are trying to get the job manifest the man get the house get the whip you know you're trying to make it all happen and so i hope that i make this one area of your life just a little bit easier getting dressed a little bit easier helping you to find clothes that you feel amazing and you feel confident in so you don't have to worry about that and you can focus on the rest of the things that you're trying to achieve so thank you so so much for watching all the way to the end of course let me know what your favorite look was in the comments below and i will see you in a couple of days with my new in collective haul bye